Hey Blunder fans, here's a new modeling tips video about adding symmetry to your models with Blender 2.8. But first of all, Blender Beta is out and you can download it from the Blender page. Go to download and click the button Try Blender Beta and here you can get it for Windows, Mac OS or Linux. Alright, then I open Blender 2.8 and it is the Beta version. Yes, and then I activate my Screencast Keys add-on so that you can see which keys and mouse buttons I'm pressing. Before we get to the actual content, let me show you one thing that I missed in the previous part and this is auto merging vertices while snapping. Again, I subdivided this cube and I want to merge, let's say, these two vertices. I enable snapping to vertices, like I did in the previous tutorial, but now I open the mesh options and enable Auto Merge Editing. And now when I snap a vertex onto another one, these vertices are merged. So I think that's really useful, but now let's move on to the topic Symmetrize. Let's add again a simple cube and move it along the Y axis to the left. Ok, I now want to have this cube on the right side mirrored to the center. There are many ways to do this, the first one is to duplicate this cube by pressing Shift and D and then I can mirror this new cube, but before I can do this I have to set the pivot point. The pivot point has to be the center and for my 3D cursor is exactly at the center, I set the pivot point to the 3D cursor. After that I press S followed by Y and type in minus 1 and that's a way to mirror the object along the Y axis. A more intuitive way to do this is to search for the mirror option, so with the duplicated cube selected, press the F3 key, search for mirror and then you press Y. Ok, same result. What you have now is two separate objects and if you want to merge these to one, you can select both and then you press Shift and J. Now you joined these objects but what you can see is that the left one turned to a dark grey tone and this is because the normals are facing in the wrong direction. I think that's a bug but you can solve this easily, you go to edit mode, then you press the L key to select this cube and then you press Shift and N to make the normals consistent. Ok, now we have one object, but let's say you want to change the geometry of the left side and the right side should be changed as well. What you can do in this case is to remove the right side, so again in edit mode I press L to select the right side and then I press the delete key to get rid of this selected part. After that I go to object mode and I want to add a mirror modifier. The problem is that the origin of the object should be at the center where the 3D cursor is. So what I do with the object selected is to search for set origin and I set it to the 3D cursor. And now I can add a mirror modifier here from the modifier tab and set the axis to Y. And this looks the same as before but when I go to edit mode and for example add a bevel here on this side, you can see that the other side is affected as well. And this is the great benefit of the mirror modifier and I use it a lot. What you can also do is to enable clipping in the mirror modifier. And this prevents the vertices from moving through the mirror planes, they are clipped together when you try to. And here's the last thing that I want to show you, suppose you applied the mirror modifier and then your changes to the geometry are not added to the other side anymore. But you want to symmetrize the mesh this time, you don't want to remove the right side and add again a mirror modifier, how can this be done? Well, pretty easy, 
there's a feature called Symmetrize. Select all in edit mode and then press F3. Search for Symmetrize and then you have to define the direction. The default direction is minus x to x, but this is not what we want in this case, so I try minus y to y. That's not correct either, we have to choose y to minus y. And here we go, perfectly symmetrized. Ok guys, I hope you like these tips for symmetrizing meshes. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And perhaps you would like to support me, so think about being my patron, this would really help a lot. If you have any questions, add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching this, thanks for your support and I'll see you on JNM.